Welcome back to Hourglass. Number one, staircase problem. Take a good look at this video that I'm gonna be showing you right now. I swear that you're going to be confused just by one good look. This drawing appears to be a simple staircase until it's rotated upside down. It doesn't appear to be symmetric, but when upside down, it looks like nothing has changed. Did you get confused too? This one is called the Scroder Staircase, and the internet is going crazy on this. Number two, to control or to get control. If you look at the next video that I'm gonna be showing you, it'll tell you about your nature. We will get to know if you are a control freak or if you can work under other people's commands. So let's have a look. Look carefully, pause the video, and comment on what you see first. Did you see the bird first, or did you see the two crocodiles touching their noses? What did you see? If you saw the crocodiles first, it means that you are a control freak. You like things that fall right where you want them to and want to have control over every little thing. But if you saw the bird first, it means that you're comfortable working under people's commands and are able to cope easily. Number three, yellow line, black line. This next image is crazy in itself. The famous optical illusion has taken netizens by storm and no one seems to be in their senses. Just have a look at this image. Look at these two yellow lines carefully. Which one is smaller and which one is bigger? Observe keenly because the truth might shock you. So what do you think? If you said that the bottom yellow line is smaller than the other one, you're wrong. What if I tell you that both the lines are exactly the same size? If you didn't believe me, pause the video and measure the length of these two lines. This illusion is called the Ponzo illusion, and it can easily trick you. Number four, Mario Madness. Who doesn't love Mario? He's one of the most iconic characters in the history of gaming. Well, let me show you one optical illusion of Mario that you are going to love as well. Look at these Mario characters carefully. It's amazing how they're jumping around, moving, and shrinking, and even expanding in size, right? But what if I tell you that nothing on this screen is actually moving? It's just your brain playing tricks on you. All the characters are in their exact spots. Nothing is moving, and nothing is shrinking either. Your brain just loves to trick you. Number five, your birthday. Now, let me try to find your birthday. Take out your calculator and do as I say. Remember, if you mess up even one step, your answer could be wrong too, so make sure that you follow me correctly. Now, let's start. Take the number of your month and multiply it by 7. For example, if I'm born on August, I multiply 8 and 7. My answer will be 56. In the same way, multiply your birth month by 7. Now subtract the number you got in the first step with 1. So, from 56, I'll reduce 1 and my answer becomes 55. Take the answer from step 2 and multiply it by 13. You will get an answer in 3 or 4 digits. Add the date of your birth to this number. Make sure that you add it, not multiply it. In my case, it will be 30. Add your day of birth to this number. You've reached this far, great. Hope you didn't make any mistakes. Now you need to add 3 to the answer you received. Now multiply the number you got in the last step by 11. You would now get a big number in your answer, but don't worry. You're doing great guys, just some more steps here. Now, I need you to subtract the month your birthday from the answer. For example, I will subtract 8 from my answer since I'm born in August. Now, you do yours. Now you need to subtract the day of your month from the answer as well. In my case, I'll reduce 30 from the answer. In this step, you need to divide your answer by 10. Almost done guys, and you'll be shocked. After the last step, you need to add 11 to your answer that you just got. All right, this is the last step, guys. I need you to divide the final answer by 100. This is it, guys. You will now see a decimal number on your screen. The number before the decimal is your birth month, and the number after the decimal is your date of birth. Did you get it correct? Let me know in the comments. If the answer you got is not your birthday, then try the steps again. There must have been a mistake. And make sure you hit the result key after every step. Click one of the four videos on screen right now.